Alright, what's up guys? Um, so today we're doing another video. I'm trying to do a couple videos a day so we can keep it rolling. Some videos I'm not going to do voice and some videos I are. It all depends on the uh, length. So today we're going to find out how to um, sync an iPod without losing all the songs. So, um, alright, here we go. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe. Alright, so let's do this. So plug in your iPod. Alright, so once you plug that in, open up um, iTunes. Okay, not just time. Cancel. So open up iTunes. So we're going to come to the iPod. We're gonna come down here. Wait, all right, make sure it doesn't sync. All right, so cancel sync. Do that by just going on your iPod and unlocking it, pretty much. All right, and click manually manage music and videos. So we're gonna come to music and be like, yeah, apply. And here it's your normal song. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make a playlist. All right, take a song, the songs you want. I already have these songs on, so I'm just gonna add one of them. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, music. We're going to go to autofill form. And we're going to click that playlist that you made and click over here autofill. Um, like it only said that because I guess it didn't put my songs in there. I don't know why. Kind of different, but okay. But, um, oh, see, sorry, that was the wrong thing. Delete this. Alright, go down to here. And go here. Click new. My music. Cold wind blows. Come up here. Music. YouTube. Autofill. It, it said that because I already have that song in here, but that's pretty much it. So comment, rate, subscribe. No hate, and thank you very much.